The release for Warhammer 3 draws ever closer, and with it come the inevitable trailers to build up the hype. In the most recent trailer, we revisit the hardened warriors of Kislev, and possibly get some backstory about their role in the coming conflict. It appears that Korn has chosen the Kislevites for destruction, and the forces of Kislev may be fracturing under the strain. We encounter a general and his troops marching out from a town on a cold winter's night, as he talks of the motherland turning its back on them, exiling them to the frozen wastelands. We hear his complaints about the meek clinging to power. Could this be a reference to Katarin being unwilling to meet the chaos threat head on? She seemed determined in the initial Warhammer 3 trailer, so what may have occurred? Could it be an insurrection has taken place in Kislev? that the generals lost faith in their rulers and attempted to take power in order to save their people. Will the player need to reunite Kislev under one banner when holding off the forces of chaos before pushing the demons back into their own realm? We soon see the frustrated general and his men have been corrupted by their anger, consumed by their rage, and have turned their backs on Urson and Kislev in service of the chaos gods. We witness them burn what appears to be a shrine to the bear god to the ground, as they wear the garb of what was once their foes. Their leader, no longer a protector of Kislev, but a servant of Korn. We then witness a battle between the Ice Queens and Korn's armies, the splendor of the winged hussars and the impressive bulk of the Kislevite bear cavalry against the horde of Chaos warriors and the demonic bloodletters. The highlight of the battle is without doubt the summoning of the massive ice bear from the frozen ground, its size dwarfing everything on the battlefield, and perhaps opening the door for a new scale of unit which one day might include the Thunder Lizard or the Cameric Titan. We may even see magic as a whole tweaked so other schools can summon great beasts like elementals of fire or death as seen in the monstrous Arcanum. The trailer ends with the wondrous ice bear charging a greater demon of corn that has swept down from the skies above. A fight I would truly like to bear witness to. No pun intended. With the initial Warhammer 3 trailer, I found myself grinning from ear to ear as I watched, my anticipation rising with each moment, and afterward, with the reveal of Grand Cathay, I was totally hyped. Unfortunately, I didn't feel much from this trailer. It was great to see the summoned ice bear and some of what might be the backstory for Kislev's standing in game, but the trailer kind of fell flat for me. I can't quite put my finger on why. I'm looking forward to being able to play with Kislev in game 3, and the units that are shown once again in this trailer look fantastic, so it's not a lack of interest with Kislev, who will be my second playthrough with the game. Grand Cathay has top spot for me, and their reveal would have to be a disaster to change that. How did you feel about this second trailer? Were you hoping for something different? Is the hype still strong for you at this point? Why not let me know in the comments below? If you enjoyed this brief video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I realize we content creators go on and on about engagement, but it really helps our channels so don't forget to engage with your favourite channels out there, even if it's just to say hi. As always, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons, thank you for supporting the channel. A special thanks goes out to Hot Apple Pie and Cody Bonds. I'm Grey Tiger, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.